Good morning. What an exciting time, certainly in my life as I'm a new grandfather, and that'll never get old, but an exciting time in the life of the church. Because this week we move up toward Pentecost, which is the birthday of the church. It happens in Acts chapter 2, and the whole chapter is dedicated to Pentecost. Uh, if you just look at the part that's selected today in our readings and disciplines, you'll see 1 through 13. It's much about the confusion when the mighty wind comes in and lives are transformed and it makes such a difference. But then towards the end, you hear about uh, the Acts 242 church, and there's actually churches that try to model themselves after that. They, uh, just as uh, in that first church, 3,000 came to be believers, and they devoted themselves to teaching, fellowship, communion, and prayers. Uh, a lot of churches try to model themselves after that. But those were the core values of the early church. Uh, our church came up just a year or two ago with core values for itself, and those are pray, love, faith, and service. Now, yesterday, I talked about one of those, that core value of prayer, how important prayer is and how essential it is for each of us. And what a difference we could make in the life of our church if each one of us prayed every day. Or if everybody in our church and all the other churches prayed, or even Savannah or globally, would it make a difference if we prayed and pray out loud so others can hear and be led and guided to faith. So that's uh, one of our core values. It's, it's what makes us who we are. And when you get back to the basics, you, you look at those core values and you try to accentuate them. Another core value of our service, we've, we've experienced a lot with that over this last year. We've had these meeting the needs campaigns where above and beyond what we budgeted for giving to missions and service we've given. And, and we've provided and made a difference for so many people that have gone through this. When, when I think about faith, I think about you, each of you in the church who with great faith have learned, some of you, to use the internet. Uh, you have learned to find us online when the pandemic closed us off to in-person worship. You've, you've come for outdoor times of gathering and, and you've grown in your faith even in the midst of everything around us. Love is the final one and I think that we can always focus on learning to love one another, making it more about you than about me, more about God than about us. And as we love, one of the things we do is we gather and we fellowship to share our victories and to encourage one another. So this Sunday, as we celebrate the birth of the church, we're going to have a little gathering afterwards, and we're going to just enjoy one another and celebrate the victories of the church and empower ourselves to continue moving forward in prayer, love, faith, and service. God bless you and have a wonderful day.